Right now, promising new research in Cleveland is giving hope to people around the world who are facing a terrifying future. Katie Eusen shows us the work happening here at home to help fight a fatal brain disease that rips through families and how you can help this weekend. Jesse Liz lost her dad, Michael, last year. He was 64. More painful, she says, was watching him die for more than a decade from Huntington's disease. It's so scary to watch somebody that is so perfect, you know, your whole life just deteriorate to nothing, you know, to deteriorate to somebody that's not able to walk, talk, think, or, or even reason. Um, that's a really hard blow. Another heavy blow is realizing it'll happen to you too. Huntington's is a deadly progressive brain disease, often described as having ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's all at the same time. It's genetic. Good voice. Jesse inherited the defective gene and knows the cruel fate that awaits. She's 40 in the prime of her life, right when it usually hits. Every day I wake up, He's I think about, you know, is today the day that I'm going to trip and fall, or is today the day where I won't remember something really important. How do you cope with that? That's yeah, a lot. so it is a lot. Um, I think, you know, I'm one of those people that isn't going to stop until I, until I can save others and save my family. Right now, there is no treatment to prevent or slow Huntington's disease, but that could change thanks to new research happening right here at Case Western Reserve University. It really surprised us when we saw the data. Dr. Shin Chi and her team just discovered a potential breakthrough in how to prevent and slow the neuron degeneration that causes Huntington's. She says this treatment is safer and more targeted than previous therapies. It's early, she cautions, and more research and clinical trials are still needed. If our uh, strategy actually uh, demonstrated to be useful and really safe to patient and we can actually go that way. I will say best of luck in the within five years we may, may, may make some breakthrough. With an estimated 41,000 symptomatic Americans and 200,000 at risk of inheriting Huntington's, the findings offer hope that families like Jesse's are desperate for. It's not fair that a fatal brain diagnosis should impact layers and layers of, of each, you know, of every generation. You can help fund the hope they need. Jesse is the president of the Northeast Ohio chapter of the Huntington's Disease Society. They're holding a fundraiser on Sunday. It's a 5K and a walk at the Cleveland Zoo. Money raised will help pay for social workers for Huntington's disease families and research. We have all the details you need on the News 5 app and website. In Cleveland, Katie Eusen, News 5.